beautiful people good morning afternoon or evening wherever you are my name is Winnie Fred and you are welcome to another tutorial so in this video I'm going to be teaching you a very quick method to cut a dashiki with a go and extension don't like my voice I have a cold right now but I just have to do this video I was already cutting this pattern before I decided to do this video so I'm going to explain now for a dashiki what you need you need the length of the dashiki I'm using 34 inches for this client you need the length to waist which is 19 inches and you need the sleeve which is 20 inches to measure the sleeve you are going to measure from the nip of the shoulder at the back down to before the elbow length I'm going to post a video on how to do that so First, this dashiki is divided into three. You have the, the center part, the sleeve, the go, and the extension. So now, we will first cut the center part. You fold it like this. When you want to fold, you have to fold a dashiki into four. First fold like this. Then you fold like this. When we are transferring to the fabric, you are going to understand better. So first, we are going to cut the center. And how do we cut the center? We are going to measure from the shoulder to the back measurement, which is 9.5 inches. Let, we are using 10 inches now which is 10 inches then you measure and mark it you add 0 0.5 inches for seam allowance then you mark it all the way down that's 10.5 inch 10.5 inches all the way down on your pattern paper you mark 10.5 inches all the way down your pattern and draw it out it's a very very easy style to cut for me so then you mark the length of your dash which is 34 inches my pattern paper is not up to 34 so i know that when i'm cutting on the fabric i'll add extra two inches to it then the center front is ready now to cut is that simple guys to cut the sleeve you know the sleeve from the nip of the shoe uh, of the neck to the elbow length is 20 inches we've already marked 10 inches we made it 10 inches so we are going to mark another 10 inches for the sleeve plus i want to use the same pattern we are going to mark another 10 inches 10.5 inch plus another okay we are going to mark another 10 inches plus half inch seam allowance plus another two inches for folding we can also use this same paper so we are just i've just added the two inches that we used to fold the sleeve at the side after joining don't worry when we transfer to the fabric and we join it you are going to understand better so on your pattern you can still use that same pattern just add two inches downwards to your 10.5 inches that you already cut and you have the pattern for the center front and the sleeve at the same time you just know that when you want to cut your center front you fold the two inches you fold it in like like so well, i'm just trying to get economical here to manage paper 
So you fold it in like this and you cut your center front. After cutting your center front, you extend it and then you cut your sleeve. It's as simple as that. You can also label it so you know that this is the center front and this is the sleeve extension. Don't forget, it's the same 10.5 inches plus seam allowance plus 2 inches for folding for the sleeve. And that is all about cutting in that shiki. So the next thing you are going to cut is the go. To cut the go, you minus your the length of your dashiki, which is 34, minus the length to waist, which is 19, and that gives us 15 inches. So the length of our go is 15 inches. I'm going to mark out 15 inches like this. And the, remember, the girl is always in a tri triangular form. It's not straight. The girl is always in a triangular form. It's not straight. So, on this point, you are going to go in by 1.5 inch. Note, this place is assumed to be on fold. By the time we are cutting on our fabric, we are going to fold it. So by the time we open it, it's going to be 3 inches. So that 3 inches is already, the same allowance is already there with the 3 inches. So we are assuming that this paper here is on fold. So we are going to measure 1.5 inches here. And at the top part, we are going to measure 0.5 inches 0.5 inch then we connect the line connect the line so this is the go go on food they will cut out. forming like a triangle by the time we stitch this place to the throat this place will be very pointed and this place will be wide and we are cutting three of this on fold the cut is three on fold now for the ext extension the extension is also 15 inches so for the extension the extension is also 15 inches in length And three inches in width. So we are assuming that this place is on fold. So measure 1.5. Straight down. The extension is straight. So we draw a straight line. My boss is really blocked, guys. Oh. And then we'll cut out. the go is on fold and we are cutting 
Ah, this is the extension, not the cut. The extension. We are cutting it on fold two, and we are cutting two of these. So this is all about drafting a dashiki pattern. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get more of this tutorial. Our next video is going to be on how to sew it. See you there. Bye.